I'm Damon L. Jacobs. I'm here with Billy Warlock at Love Out Loud here in Manhattan. I'm so glad to see you, man. I'm so glad to My see you. My pleasure to be here. I have been following you since you were flip on Happy Days through Capital, through Days of Our Lives. You just aged yourself as well as me. I know it. I'm proud of it. I just love your work. I always Thank have. you. I appreciate that very um, much. I've also admired that being standing up for HIV and AIDS and, and be, making people aware this disease has always been something in your career that's been important to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I'm I'm sure you know, but uh, back in 04, yeah. they revised it again, yeah. thank God, but I did the normal art. Yes, um, it's such a powerful show. It's, it's unbelievable. It. Larry yeah. Kramer, you know, he's a, he's an ambassador. I mean, the man is, yeah. he's incredible, he, he fights for what's right, and uh, I, I don't know, I can't even, I, you know, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the new production. Yeah. It's I'm really almost, good. I'm, I mean, come on. You can put it on the street corner. It's going to be great. <laughs> the words are great. Uh, I mean, it's just its a great show. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go see this show. It's I wish you were in it, man. You know what? Don't get me started. That's a whole other chapter. We'll, well, you we'll know. do a whole other chapter. We'll do a whole, chapter. Yeah, we'll do a whole, we'll do a whole chapter. other chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you certainly had a lot of life experiences, a lot of jobs. There could be chapters, many chapters By the way, to your book. That was my best best chapter in my career. The normal was hunt? doing that play. Wow. Without without a doubt. So when are we going to see and read the, the Billy Warlock tell all autobiography? You know, I actually have a hell of a biography to tell. I know. That's why I'm asking you. It's uh that's something to think about. You we we can start with Happy Days. We'll call it Flip This. Okay, good. I like it. I like I, well, so you know, I got to keep it PG, but... <laughs> all right, yeah. No, there's... Wow. You know, it's funny. You give me an idea, because every day, when Kathy Lee hold all these... They're writing books. Yeah. I think to myself every day, maybe I should write a book, but then I feel like I'm selling out. Why? I don't know. Especially but, if you have a positive message that can help others. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's you know, it. Sure. And you've been prime time, you've done daytime, you've done Broadway. Come on, you've I've got so much to say. I pretty much done it I've got all. a lot to say. I do. I yeah. do have a lot to say, whether we, regardless if somebody wants to hear it or not. You're very opinionated, too, I which am. we love that. We love that. I am. Billy, you know, unfortunately, there's going to be four shows left in a year. There's four oh. shows left. Given that you've had a lot of experience on daytime, what do you think needs to happen for the last four shows to remain viable and stay on the air? What, if anything, can they do from your perspective? Nothing. Nothing. Because... And, and it's not their fault. I mean, okay, honestly, since honestly. we're going to talk to yeah. okay. Well. It could have been saved five, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. Yeah. It's all about money, baby. Listen, it's no secret. I mean, when you see shows over the last seven years, you're opening up a whole Pandora's box here with me. When you see shows getting rid of their mainstays to bring in thousand dollar a day actors, that's your first sign of like, uh oh. Trouble. Trouble. Tell stories with your core people. Get rid of everybody else. You want the four shows to remain? Get rid of everyone except your core people. Pay them, shut the hell up, do your job, and then go home. But tell it with your core 10 people. That's it. Not 12 Ford brothers, no offense to them. Not whatever, don't bring in new people. Right. Tell your And stories. bring back the fan favorites. People have been watching soaps for 40 years because they love the people that they want to see. Stop the bullshit. I'm with you. There you go. You want to fix this shit? Make it last? Right for the 10 people and shut the hell up. I love that. That's I love it. that. What about... Ah. All right. <laughs> Briefly, what can we look forward to seeing you do? Either theater, TV, what, what's ahead? You know, I've just been writing. Yeah? Yeah. Writing the book. No, no. The tell-all. That's the what book. I'm hoping. No, I, I've already said too much, okay. so I'm not going to tell a tell-all. Any, any, any chance we'll see Frankie back in Salem at any point? You know Speaking what? of core characters who everybody loves. You know what? Frankie's one of my favorite characters that I ever played. Me too. You know, I'm always open. I, I, you know, I don't say no to anything. And those are great people. Love Ken and all the guys. They're family, so whatever. Hey, all right. I can't make predictions. You are profoundly talented. I've always enjoyed your career, and I've always appreciated the way you stood up for HIV and AIDS. All right. Thank you. All right. Good.